So I'm using Outrage here, which is a painting software that simulates natural uh, painting media. And what I'm doing right now, I have uh, just made a brief sketch. And I'm going to add a new layer and work on the sky with a watercolor tool. I have here different presets and I'm going to choose Heavy Bleed. And use a very light blue tone. Increase my tip. So I'm going to add a layer here and put it behind my sketch. And as you can see, I'm using a brush here because the optical touchscreen allows me to do that. And here I have the watercolor tool. And I'm just using a light blue. And what is always important is to switch the colors. And as you can see, the colors blend beautifully like they would with natural media. And like with real watercolor, it's very important to use a lot of water. So that is my preset here, just water. And I'm increasing the tool tip. And give the sky more lightness with just addition of water. So you can create that beautiful effect that natural watercolor has. to another setting again. And to the final touches. So I'm going to add a new layer and start to paint those hills in the background and I'm going to use a different media because Artwitch allows us to do mixed media and I'm talking about really mixed so I'm going to put oil on watercolor now. Something that would not be possible with natural media. Selecting the tube here.
and you see the pain comes out thick like I would press a tube. Or squeeze paint out of a tube. Again, I'm changing the color multiple times to give it a little bit more life in the, in the parts that just are monochrome. Now I'm going to choose a palette knife. I'm choosing now the palette knife. And in the settings, I turn down the pressure. So I can just go lightly over the paint and move it around, but I want to keep that beautiful oil texture. can blend the color, but you can still see that it's thick oil paint. Zoom in a little bit and do some details on the edges here and I'm choosing the oil brush. color picker I can always choose the color that I have already applied. I'm adding a new layer and now I'm just going to choose a different tool the chalk and I'm going to paint the tree in front, very much in the foreground. I 
And then with a palette knife, I can smear that also. rid of my little sketch now just make it invisible that's what we got so far and now I want to add some leaves and I don't want to spend a lot of time so what I'm using here is a sticker spray and I have the leaves and just need to choose a color spraying leaves. And if you do that, you want to start some smaller ones and then increase the size a little bit. Change the color. And put some bigger ones on top. Trying to repeat the colors that occur here on the hill a little bit. It all goes together nicely. That was too bright. And I can just always use the commands that if I did something I don't like. There's unlimited undo, which is which makes everything much easier. <laughs> 